The release of the 38 Studios documents comes a full five years after Kurt Schilling's video game company moved to Rhode Island. As we wait for the mountain of materials to be unsealed, there are a lot of questions about what's in them. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been working this case for years and is here now with the latest details. The civil suit against the architects of the controversial deal has already offered tantalizing details about what we might see. As Target 12 first reported, court documents revealed a potentially new and stunning narrative in the 38 Studios case. Obviously State lawyers say chilling. former House Speaker late. Gordon Fox had a previously undisclosed meeting with Kurt Schilling and others from 38 Studios and that he instructed economic development officials to work a deal to lure the video game company to Rhode Island. Those new details from some of the soon-to-be-released depositions taken in the lawsuit. It is an important day. Uh, the public will get to see uh, through the media and other outlets exactly what transpired. State Senator James Sheehan supported the release of the documents. It's frustrating to try to get at the truth and uh, just have it just out of reach. We've learned court officials are going to meet on Monday to figure out just how they're going to release thousands and thousands of pages of 38 Studios documents. Both parties in the lawsuit agreed to the release, though some defendants originally hesitated, urging the judge to unseal all documents at once, not piecemeal. Hopefully, whatever the public sees now, the public will be able to get the real story in a very complicated matter. In 2006, with the court's blessing, the Attorney General's office released evidence from the Station Nightclub fire case. There was so much material, members of the media had to bring a hard drive to the state to copy the information. Just how the 38 Studios documents will be released is still up in the air. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.